Hello and welcome to the News Express exclusively brought to you by Business AM, Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper here on Africa Business Radio. My name is Onoja. Now let's begin with the stories making the rounds this week. First, the big story. Group attacks Buhari to deliver on COP226 uh, micro hydropower advice. Offers blueprints for actualization. Experts offer to lead implementation. Another story hitting the front page is Nigeria export onions on poor storage amid supply shortfall. I guess uh, farmers avoid post harvest losses. Investment in storage facility low. Exports through border with a Niger Republic to Ghana. Togo, Burkina Faso, Senegal, and South Africa. You also want to check out the executive knowledge series with the story When the Problem Isn't uh, the Problem. An insightful read, I must say. In finance and investment, uh, there is an article on Dangote, MTN, and BUA Ruling West Africa. Now, joining me live in the studio via telephone is uh, Mr. Philip Isakba. Now, he is the publisher of Business AM. Mr. Philip, are you there? Good morning. I'm doing very well. Yeah, great. So, let's begin with the big story. Group tax Buhari to deliver on COP26 micro hydropower advice. Now, we saw that group of energy sector experts have raised an urgent memo to President Mohamed Buhari, calling on him to immediately begin the full implementation here in his country, like, you know, Nigeria. Uh, the laudable suggestion on micro hydropower generation he made to the world in an article in the run up to the ongoing United Nations Climate Change Conference, that's COP26, holding in Glasgow, Scotland. Uh, they even offered a blueprint for actualization in, in a document suggesting preliminary actions to be taken. What are these steps and do you think they're going to fly? Attention should be focused on micro hydropower uh, 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 for electricity generation. And what this group has come up to say is that uh, it's a good thing that the president has gone to do, uh, spoken globally on uh, on this particular aspect of uh, generating electricity. And they are saying that uh, uh, you need to come and domesticate this uh, uh, global uh, advice that you are giving. So, so because we have a major challenge with relation to gener- uh, electricity generation in the country. Mm-hmm. And there are experts, they, they, they say, that understand the, uh, the, the, uh, the nuances of, uh, of making this happen. And that, uh, it, 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 as a matter of fact, it, uh, it so happens that uh, in 2010, you know, the Ministry of Power, you know, did make a move in that direction by trying to uh, locate the, the small micro hydropower uh, uh, opportunities that are available across the country. Right. There is a list, you know, of dams that can be dammed, you know, for the purpose of generating uh, uh, electricity and for the purpose of doing this thing. And what they are saying is that this is indeed a community-based uh, approach, mm-hmm. you know, because uh, you do, you are not looking for those big uh, uh, electricity uh, generating plants or the the the, the one that uh, the thermal uh, uh, generating plant, but that you can domesticate this in uh, in different communities. That there are so many waterfalls, you know, where you can generate one one uh, very small uh, uh, amount of electricity that will serve different communities. So they're saying that come back home, you know, it's a good thing that you have said, uh, uh, advised the world to to look at these issues, but then come back home and see how we can, uh, you can domesticate it. And they're saying that we're available, we're available for you to to, to use the experts are in-house, you know, uh, uh, we we have uh, uh, particular experts that uh, uh, that, uh, that understand these processes, you know, that can deliver on this uh, micro hydropower that were available, you know, they, they are prepared to, to do a blueprint for government to look at. Uh, but there is an understanding we have gone further, you know, there is, there is, uh, uh, we understand that there are some plugs in the wheel, you know, you know, of, of, of delivering on this because uh, uh, there's a Minister of Power on one hand, you know, which which is interested, I mean, which, which responsibility it is to, to make sure that the, 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 the environment for uh, generating and producing electricity is possible. And then you have uh, the, the water resources. So you have what Ministry of Water Resources that have uh, 
that own, you know, this uh, water uh, bodies across the country, you know, right. that is responsible. So uh, you have some, some uh, uh, what you call clothes in the wheel, you know, but the, the, this group is saying that uh, if for, for more than 10 years nothing has been done after generating a list of uh, dam uh, 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 waterfalls or water bodies that you can dam for electricity and nothing has been done, that this is the time, I haven't spoken to the world for the president to, to get to, to work and then see how uh, uh, all the clots in the wheel can be, can be broken. Awesome. That's really, really true. And I love the fact that he has been directed to, you know, you know, start from home. Like it's almost like saying that charity begins at home. So you should begin with your home. So it's excellent. We hope that that actually works well. You know, lack of finance has always been the excuse that the government gives when it comes to projects like this. I mean, other things. How can the government ensure this doesn't become a problem this time, Mr. Philip? Yeah, one thing that they have they have suggested is that you see, I think globally everywhere you go to, right? If you mm-hmm. if you there, there is finance actually, you right? Know, but you have to produce a bankable project, you know. So so the the thing is that they have suggested that why that work must be done, you know, in earnest to ensure that uh, all the things that are that you need to do to ensure that uh, all the different. Uh, 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 places where where uh, you can generate electricity, you know, all the water bodies or waterfalls that you can, uh, from which you can generate electricity. But all the what you need to do to ensure that uh, the doc- documentation or whatever feasibilities and that that should be done to ensure that the project is bankable, you know, should be done now, you know, so that. If you if you pro, if you provide a bankable project that, that is very smooth, you know there is finance everywhere, a different in different places, and that instead of it being government uh, 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 oriented, mm-hmm. you know that you should auction auction this bankable uh, uh, project, auction the bankable project, and then you will see private sector people come in. You know sometimes it will just be one one uh, one uh, mega megawatt or two megawatts or five megawatts, exactly. not not the big ones of two hundred, three hundred or doing. Uh, for 500 megawatts no but just the small ones that you can have small investors take up a take take, take uh, electricity generation within a community and then uh, and, and then uh, go 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 on with, with that but you need to ensure that uh, all the feasibilities and all the, the uh, uh, what you need to do you know to ensure that it, the, the projects are bankable should be done and that's what the government needs to do and then they are suggesting, which is very, uh, 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 what's it called, a, a novel thing, mm-hmm. that you should auction. Once you once you have been able to uh, develop all these uh, different places where you ha- you can generate electricity, and then you have made, made uh, ensure that it, they are bankable, then auction auction them. You know, for the private sectors to come in and then and just just be just be uh, 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 what's it called a supervisor or you know ma- right. making sure that the the, the playing field is is is, is really uh, 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 what's it called smooth for everybody to to play in it. Right. You know, interestingly, a document prepared by the Federal Ministry of Power, which the title "Small Medium Hydro Power Project Discretion." appears to suggest that uh, there is some understanding in government that the mini hydro offers uh, opportunity for solving part of the country's power challenge. Now, the document appears to show that the Ministry of Power has identified and categorized existing Federal Ministry of Water Resources and River Basin Authority dams with hydropower potentials, you know. If this is the case, why hasn't it been pursued? Again, that that is what you call inertia in government. You know mm-hmm. that uh, you you have you have everybody uh, seeming to be very interested in ensuring that uh, there's there's solution to or there are solutions to different problems. You know when when all that has been done and then things have been put in place, then suddenly everybody uh, 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 goes home. You know to to rest. You know so so we're, we're talking about it. So a document that was prepared in 2010. You know, so uh, 2010 to this time, you are looking at uh, uh, 11 years or so, you know, and nothing has been done. You know, so, but we have learned, the business AM has learned, you know, uh, 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 within the last uh, uh, few uh, few hours, you know, that there are so many clocks within the system, you know, that uh, different mental agencies, you know, one agency is responsible for this, and then it needs to get uh, some 
some buy-in from another agency because that agency is responsible for another thing. You know, there's legislation going on at the, at the National Assembly regarding uh, there's a bill on water, mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's a water bill, you know, uh, which which is supposed to free up the dams, you know, from from being held by the Ministry of uh, Ministry of Water Resources, right. so that. Private sectors can, uh, the private sector can have uh, com uh, uh, I mean, total control because sometimes it is also about not having, not being able to have control over the assets that uh, are, ma are supposed to be uh, made available. You know, so so that is also a, a, a problem. Uh, of course, you have the finance, the financing issue. You know, which. That uh, uh, tend to put the government people away, you know. But there's bureaucracy, you know, bureaucracy within this. I mean, the bureaucracy that does not seem to want to allow, you know, uh, 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 other other views to come in, you know, to, to that that can liberate the the system or liberate the entire uh, uh, entire framework of what what's going on, mm. you know, to to, to uh, you know, so that, that those those are the issues, you know, but. Have, but the, the, the good thing is that if the president that has co gone to the world, you know, to advise, make this advice, you know, he must then uh, have to deliver on it locally within the, within Nigeria, you know, by by uh, you know, it's what do they say? They call it a uh, uh, show show. Uh, let charity begin uh, from home, uh -huh, yeah. you know, like you said earlier. Uh -huh. So he has to deliver what he's advising the world to do, you know, from from home. So, uh, <laughs> it, has, it has executive power, you know. It can it can start with an executive uh, order, you know, to, and, and ensure that that executive order is uh, is carried out in terms of uh, this particular uh, uh, micro hydro power uh, uh, generation uh, issue that he has brought up. Right. So I saw this interesting headline which says Nigeria exports onions on poor storage I means supply shortfall, and I'm like, Nigeria as it is, as Africa's largest second producer of onions. Is at the moment where you know we're being forced to trade off the inadequate number of the vegetables it is producing at a giveaway price to other countries in West and South Africa. Now, despite having a national consumption deficit of about 600,000 metric tons of the commodity, why? I mean, why is this, Mr. Philip? I'm just like so confused. Why are we being forced to sell the limit limited number of vegetables to to other countries? I mean, when it's not enough, right? The, 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 again, this this is a, a sad one, you know, because uh, I, I think I think it, 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 it's always a problem between the the farm gate, you know, what happens at the farm gate, and then what happens uh, in the market, you know. So the the, the, the you know the, the the point is that. Uh, Agriculture is seasonal in in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You know, seasonal in the sense that uh, you you have uh, you have cropping, uh, 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 you know, harvest season. You have cropping season. You know, the farming. You know, and then and then we have since, uh, when when it's harvest time, you have loads and loads of pro uh, of produce coming out from the from from the farm gate. You know, and then uh, uh, suddenly you find that uh, you you get to a season where it is no longer harvest season. And those those produce you, you don't find anymore, you know, and that's mm -hmm. because uh, there isn't enough storage. Exactly. You know, uh, for a lot of a lot of the produce that comes from uh, uh, that that come from the, the, the farm, you know. So what is happening now with onion? I and mean, I mean, <laughs> many many people who uh, I mean who cook and would do have something exactly. to do with onion. Exactly. You know, we tell you we tell you that. Uh, there, there will be a time, you know, where onion, you know, for, for instance, say, particularly during festive periods such as Christmas, Christmas it's yeah. about sixty thousand, uh, by sixty thousand per bag, yeah, exactly. as against as against three thousand that it used to sell in the month of March and mm -hmm. April. Mm -hmm. So March and April is a harvest time for onion, you know. But uh, as you go into this, this as you go, come to Christmas time, you know, the thing becomes scarce, and that's because there isn't storage. Now farmers are, 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 are trying to avoid, so you have post harvest uh, losses that happens as a result of that, uh, lack of storage, you know, and then in order to avoid losing money, you know, they are beginning to find uh, ways to, to, to get this uh, uh, onion, the, the what they produce out of the country. And so you are having people come from, uh, uh, for instance, they say, to, uh, Ghana, Togo, Burkina Faso, 
uh, uh, Senegal, South Africa, mm-hmm. and maybe other places as well, you know. And then uh, using, I mean, our, our reporter in Kano was able to to find out that uh, uh, through, uh, 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 I think, a part of Sokoto, uh, where sharing border with Niger Republic, you know, that uh, export is being done uh, through that that channel to this 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 countries, you know. At, uh, a lot of onions produced in the north of the country, mm-hmm. and 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 so there's access to. So it's not anything to do with uh, the farmers. Farmers are finding looking uh, 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 looking at ways, you know, to to ensure that they don't make losses, you know. And so if people are coming from outside to 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 import, I mean, to get the the, the, the product the produce, then of course they need to make their money. Mm-hmm. But here is the, the the problem. The problem is that. Uh, Several years, you know, uh, I mean, decades now, you know, the issue of uh, storage uh, facility for, for farm produce that has been a major issue. You know, right from the time, uh, we, can, we can go back to uh, uh, the current uh, president of the African Development Bank, who was a uh, one-time minister of, uh, of, uh, of agriculture, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I know in Abuja some uh, 2014 or so, you know, he was pushing hard for storage uh, uh, silos to be built uh, across the country so that uh, for, for the storage of, uh, uh, of, of uh, agricultural produce that for, for, the, for, for, for the country. And then so many other things, you know, but there has not been a proper approach to developing storage facility, you know, for agricultural produce. And that's where the problem is. And Nigeria, second largest producer of, of, the, of, of onions in, 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 in Africa, you know, but you know, it's not having, but still has a shortfall. Mm-hmm. You know, despite being second largest producer, it still has a, a shortfall. You know, mm-hmm. uh, deficit of say, say six hundred thousand metric tons. Uh, you That's know, huge. and and but, but it's huge, but it's still is having to export. Mm-hmm. It's having to export because when there is harvest time, they have to uh, farmers need to to dispose of because there isn't a, 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 a good storage. Exactly. Uh, uh, yeah, surplus because there is good storage facility. So you. you the thing is that, again, this is posing a challenge to the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, you know, and uh, and government, you know. And there's so much, has, so much has been done with regards to, or uh, so much has been said to have been done with regards to agriculture, you know. But we hear a lot of money going out, you know, we hear a lot of money, uh, support, uh, uh, investment or, or funds being made available for farming, but... The island, uh, there appears to be uh, no uh, proper solution to uh, to other issues that affect uh, uh, agriculture in terms of uh, uh, harvest and post-harvest uh, losses that uh, farmers face. Thank you so much, Mr. Philip, for doing justice to these headlines this morning. But before I let you go, you mentioned that you know government needs to like you know come into play and do something to tackle these challenges. What are like some of the strategies that can be adopted in addressing the challenge? And most importantly, like you mentioned, what can the government do to help the situation? Well, the the, the, the point is that the the agricultural pol- agricultural policy uh, needs to be holistic. You know. So there's a, there's a farm bit, you know, when you put, um, a farm bit for the production of uh, agricultural produce, you know, and then there's the market. You know, we still have a lot of issues with the, 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 uh, with, to do with commodities exchange in, in, in the country that uh, haven't been well developed, you know, haven't been well, uh, 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 perhaps, say, funded or, you know. So there are things to do with policy issues and then there are things to do with uh, having the right expertise you know people who understand and and letting bureaucracy not get in the way of so many things that uh, 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 that should be done uh, very easily for you know and then you know so 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 that that's a major problem you know so the government needs to address policy government needs to address uh, expertise yeah. you know uh, and government needs to identify the real challenges that are there you know we talk about storage facilities for for agricultural produce for instance yeah you know? that's true uh, how do you go about ensuring that uh, you have the appropriate or the right storage facility within the country so you be looking at for instance you look at a uh, 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 is it adequate storage facilities is it for is it government that's supposed to pr- provide that or is it uh, the private sector if it's private sector how do you ensure that uh, the, the field or the playing field is uh, is leveled for, for for entry you know and then remove 
all the all the obstacles that are in the way of private sector getting involved in these things you know so so there's a lot of things to do with policy to do with the act, uh, actual actu uh, act, actual activities taking place and then a, a need to understand the market you know mm -hmm. the market you know because i think there, there's a, a tendency to think of uh, agricultural produce in in in, in 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 the in the like of in uh, in terms of producing uh, agricultural produce and then uh, people consuming it you know there's a big market that needs to, there's a marketplace you know that needs to be structured ap appropriately that needs to be understood you know so that we move away from uh, from the way it is its subsistence approach to to, to agriculture, you know, into a more organized and and, 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 and global play, you know, of the of how uh, agriculture needs to be to be handled in the country. Very true. Let's just hope that the government actually swings into action like as soon as possible because there's a limit to how much the farmers can do themselves, you know. Thank you so much, Mr. Philip, Thank for you. joining us today and doing such a justice to, uh, you know, the today's uh, headlines. Uh, let's just see how that develops uh, during the course of the week. And thank you uh, for listening. That was Mr. Philip Isakpa, the publisher, Business AM, Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business and newspaper. On that note, we have come to the end of today's edition of the News Express brought to you by Business AM here on Africa Business Radio. My name is Onoja. Until next time, do have a lovely week ahead.